Hey folks, welcome to Ostrov. I was going to say to a new game to the channel, but I've done Ostrov before. When Ostrov first came out, even before it hit Steam, I put out a series of it and had a ball. Seems like that last time I got eight out of nine houses built before snow hit. Let's see if we can do better this time. New game. Um, the game is updated recently. We're on Alpha 5 now. And I think pottery was the last thing that came out. Um, I think this map is the newest map. It's got iron, stone, and limestone. I don't believe any of the other ones have that. The maps are not procedural, so what we have here is what's available. Um, so we're going to go with this guy. Oh, I was going to show you if you back up there. It gives you the choice of pine or spruce. So spruce is new to me as well. I have not seen this tree before, and boy, that looks good. Wow. Okay. Um, I've watched someone else play this map, and they built their settlement up on here. I want to do something a little bit different. I got into the map earlier and kind of snooped around. We've got the limitations of... I'm spinning around getting you nauseous. That's, that's where we just were? Yeah. So... Up in here, we've got a perimeter of what's available on the map. And I see it ends right here. So it's not as big as it looks. Did a good job of showing the rest of the world. But we're limited to a square in here. We've got stone through there. We've got iron over here. And we've got limestone over here. I'm thinking... The entrance to the map, I think, is right in this area. I think that's where everybody's going to, or the traders and what have you are going to enter, families. There's a little area hiding back over here in the corner. and I think I'm going to go for this. Hillside going up, which means that you can't put any buildings on this, or most of the buildings won't build unless they're tiny. Um, so that'd be a great place for fields and orchards. Yeah, that would work. Um... We start off by putting our work camp in. And we can't put anywhere where there are trees because we don't have the, uh, the loggers yet to take the trees down. So you've got to be careful where you lay that out. As you build the houses, this camp starts to disappear. So don't want to build it where it's going to be in your way if you already know where you want to put housing. And I'm thinking housing is going to kind of work through this area. Nice curve up in here. Maybe some industry there, some industry there, farming in here, of course fishing and what have you down here. A pathway down the center, maybe a bridge coming across somewhere in here. Cheapest we could go over here for the bridge, but we'll see. It would look better right here, but that's going to take a lot more materials. Let's drop you somewhere in here where I don't clip a tree. And exactly where? Let's go up a little bit higher. All right, there. I think that'll work. Slow you down. And in fact, let's just pause you for a moment while, I while I'm talking. We have until the end of November to get all of this done or they move out and leave. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine families living in nine tents. We need to build nine houses. But first thing we need to do is get a forestry in so we can replace our lumber. Right over here, we've got 11,000 lumber. This is our supply tent this is our supply tent we've got a thousand iron 1600 nails and 4000 thatch so that's our limitations before we run out of building materials you run out you're out of luck so don't run out um this is a little wide to put a house and a road and a house so let's think about a road that kind of curves in like so. And another road that comes in and dead ends. Like a cul-de-sac. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, we're going to start with our forestry. Right over here. And it's got to go somewhere like the original camp that doesn't need to have a tree taken down. R and T rotates. And control fine tunes that rotate and I think shift goes a lot faster let's see here 
Uh, hold shift for, oh, for multiple buildings. Okay. So let's rotate you like so. We've got a, that tense in our way to, so we've got to be careful where we place things. We do have limitations to think about though. Something that uh, a new player won't realize till it's too late. Your clay pit can only go where it's green. So in this case, most anywhere you can put a clay pit. Your sand pit kind of goes in the opposite places, I'm guessing. Uh, sand, we guess we got a space over here for it. It's a little over there, so there's, there's a lot less sand on the map than clay. So this is more of a, of a clay soil in this area. And then you've got the limitation of eventually getting salt. Salt works. Can only land in certain spots too. So it looks like salt can land over here and into the... F hard to... Let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. So we got a salt deposit in here that can be dug up. Uh, we've got our, our border there, so we can't get into that area. Um, out over here? No into the trees hmm salt's a problem we may go into these trees here with the salt once we get everything established I want to cut as few trees down as possible to begin with because that takes a lot of time and I want to get in nine houses a thatchery the smithy and I think I can sneak in a farm get the ladies working Let's give that a try, too. Ambitious. See if we can pull it off. All right. Enough talking. Get the forestry going. So you're over here somewhere. Uh, rotate you a bit. And straddle the house. Could kick you in at an angle. Sure. We'll do something like that. We're not stuck to a grid. So don't fall into that trap of having to make everything straight and square. Let it flow with the land. It's kind of fun. All right. So we need you. We need clay. We need thatch. So let's... Actually, we don't need thatch for a while. We do need clay right at the beginning, though. So let's play with that. Clay and... Near this guy. Kind of our, our supplies in this area. That kind of works. Let's see here. Rotate you around. We don't have 100% green, but I don't know that it matters that much. But that being said, something that doesn't require, doesn't have any limitations could be dropped in right there. Okay. Let's leave a lane so they can get through and back to their forest to do any chopping that happens over there. We can take down one tree here at the beginning once we have some... Uh, some loggers up and going. So let's do let's do that. And the order that you put them in is the priority system. So you can choose what goes first that way. Just click and, and drag. Um uh, actually let's think about the farm first. I'm gonna really take a gamble here. Let's see if we can pull this off. Um let's see here. Farm is in there. There's farm. And farm will not build on the slope, as most buildings won't. We can get down where we can really see the slope here, and you'll see what I mean. See how the roof sinks almost down to the ground level there. So that's why it says uneven terrain. So kind of limited in where we can put this guy. Entrance is the green right there. So let's rotate you around. So we have the entrance out this direction. And... Need to remove trees, otherwise this area is available. If we're going to have a road that comes down the center, then we want them off to one side or the other. Is there an advantage to having him entrance that way, building down below? Or entrance this way, building up above? We'd probably see it better this way and see what's in it better. Let's do that. Yeah, I think that works. Okay, so you're there. I want you in right after the clay. Okay. Um, let's add some more workers. I forgot to do that. We've got, we've got guys just sitting around with nothing to do. The ladies have nothing to do either. The game does distinguish between labor for men and labor for women. Harder, more rugged work for the men. 
they're building they're doing the construction and they'll be carrying the logs and that sort of thing and the ladies will be running the uh, the sales stalls they'll be planting and harvesting they'll be um picking up and drying thatch for the roofs and more traditional job descriptions so more traditional game we're in the 1700 1721 and this is simulating a village in ukraine which is where this game is developed a guy named yaveni is developing this by himself and as some of you know there is a little bit of a war going on in ukraine right now so we're thankful that there are any updates happening at all to the game they're they're a little busy over there right now i wrote to him recently to see if he was okay because none of us have heard from him since june july and i eventually got a a note back saying that he's fine and, and an update was coming out soon so he's still okay over there um one thing i really enjoy about this game is the way that it shows all of the construction so they'll go in and bring one girder at a time put all the foundation piers in and and uh, it's kind of fun to watch so once we get everything set up and going and get these guys employed and and uh, get the basics going i'll turn the game you know speed up a little bit and we'll sit back and watch some of these um otherwise the ladies have nothing to do which is why i wanted to get that farm in as early as possible we're not going to get full production out of it yet because they should be planting right now but we'll get at least partial crops in that way and get our, our food variety up right at the beginning a little better okay so housing is important and i'm kind of stalling so i'm trying to figure out where i want to put the houses so i was thinking of a little road here and then a bigger road that goes back into there nice little curve to it housing we've got houses that are by themselves and you can stack them all in next to each other like a neighborhood or you can build houses with a yard the advantage to the yard is that they will grow crops in their their space there and you'll get more food variety right at the beginning and the game is set up so that you can set up a, a town granary and buy the crops from them and then resell the the crop variety to everybody in little market stalls so kind of ingenious the way he's designed it really enjoy it so i want to tuck this guy in as far as i can without clipping any trees for the first couple of structures after a while giving them plenty of things to build the loggers will be taking out the trees ahead of time and and get rid of all the delays but right at the beginning you'll just end up with with a construction guy sitting around with nothing to do now if you hit the f1 instead of hitting the enter it sets down the blueprint you can grab the corners and move them around so if i go to there i miss these trees to chop if i go to here i miss those trees to chop so that eliminates the delay now shape wise i'm thinking this comes in a little bit like so give us a road goes up like that i wish i had more points i wish i could right here clip and move this over and do something like that give them a little more space kind of a small place if i want to capitalize on the space here and not hit any trees hmm i could do it a different way too we could add the trees in give them the more space and not make this the first house to work on that works okay um so a road comes in like this let's kick you in a little more and you back a little like so we are running right yeah and then we can grab the house and with r and t we can move uh this guy around rotate him r t rotate hey i see what he did there <laughs> or maybe not they will they will grow in the space that's left so i wouldn't want to push it right there and clip both corners and not give them a pathway around they probably would not be able to grow in that space so kind of keep that in mind um if you want to angle it to the slope we have a little bit of a slope here it's actually pretty flat the slope kind of begins right in here okay so that's pretty flat so in that case let's rotate you and line you up at the back and yeah we'll give you kind of a backyard what was that forestry is complete all right click you there 
pause and enter will set that house. You're the first house. You go in after these two are built. Yeah. And that tree should probably be next. We can reorder later. All right. The forestry needs a minimum of two employees. They've got to drop a tree, and then one guy grabs one end of a log, another guy grabs the other end of the log, and they just hoof that thing into here. So we need at least two workers. And at the beginning, I want to put in four. Now, I may have hired everybody, so let's... You're taking a rest, and you're taking a rest. So let's fire you guys, and you're taking a rest. Okay, so we'll fire three, so we can make sure that at least two and then hopefully four jump into there real quick and they can start taking down the one tree there and the four trees there that are waiting but let's go ahead and set another house where did that go that's over there let's grab another house set you like so so you could you see how it kind of springs around and moves you can kind of manually set things into place if you're if you're satisfied with that or you can Hmm. Actually, I wish I left a little more room there, huh? Yeah. I could... Well, I don't know if it'll fit. Out of curiosity, let's... Now, well, they got other things to do. I'll leave it running. If I were to set that one right there, is there room for a well in that space left over? Uh, blue or green is the entrance to it, so we need to rotate like so. There is room. So I could do something unusual like this and just set this well into this space. Okay, so let's cut that space in half. And we'll make the road move along the well and kind of artificially move it over a little bit with the fencing. All right, pull you out and delete you, which is demolish. Grab another house. And now that we've seen the experiment we're running, yeah, that'll eventually fade. Okay, we'll spin you around, get the front door in the right area. And hit the F1. That locks it in. And we can zoom into here. You, what's that say? Need to remove one tree. Oh, right in the corner. Okay. And we can do that. You hit right there. It goes from red to green. And let's kick you into about like that. All right, that's there. So this road is going to curve in and probably end about there. Yeah, let's kick you in a little bit further. Yeah, I think like that. And I'm trying to figure out how to end my cul-de-sac and still have room to get into the road and more houses in. I have a feeling these houses are going to be set in the trees. We'll just have them cut them all down. But that'll be after our first nine because there isn't enough time to do a lot of logging and get all the construction in. Um, how do we do here, by the way? You... Oh, I'm still working on something? I'm still working on this. It won't let me move around. Okay. So, like that. Completed the clay pit. We're now working on the farm. Um, well's going to go there. Let's do something more like this. And then you can go back into here. And right up against the, the fencing. So hold the control down, fine-tune that in right there, drop you, and I will put you all the way to the very back, like that, there, and they'll grow in these areas right here. Okay, then I'm way, that way I can angle another one with a front right here, yeah, we'll, we'll make that work. Okay, so you're next, and enter. Okay, so two houses are ready to go. Thatch needs to be next, but I need to see if we got... We did. Now we've got the ability to have two teams of two taking down trees, as well as making firewood and bark, I believe. Though I have yet to figure out what bark goes to. I've That's new since that very first season, the very first series that I put together. We're building the farm over here, and we'll dive into this house first. There's only one tree to take down. That makes sure makes sure that uh, that we can be immediately constructing again. Though even if they can't build because there is a tree in the way, they will continue to bring the building materials over. So that's good. So we've got clay for them. 
We've got plenty of nails for quite some time. There's still 12, almost 1,300 nails. And they're already starting to make planks. They've already cut up 2,300 of them. So we're, we're good building material-wise. Thatch is what we're going to run out of next. And I used to... I'm having a little deja vu moment. I recorded this once before, got 20 minutes in and realized I didn't click the button to turn my mic on. So if I mention this already, my fault. But I used to make the mistake of, of bringing the thatchery down by the thatch. And that way the ladies would come down and pull the thatch out from the, the reeds out from the shore and then dry it. And then all of the builders would have to walk all the way down here to get thatch to go up and supply all of the building sites. And I realized, yeah, you don't need to do that. The ladies can walk down and get the thatch, and that doesn't happen very often. Once it's done, it's done. So they'll just make a trip a few times a year. But the builders, I'm going to have them building for years in here. And I don't want them making that long run. So thatch could be, actually it could be right over here where it wasn't the right soil type for the clay so that would work front door is well go over there it's right there the the green so we could thatch in like so hmm yeah let's I, I think that'll work do we do this let's give you a lane and let's start angling you toward the shape that's going to be heading off in this direction so what have we got? This tent's going to go away. The lane's going to kind of travel right through here. And it's going to be like that. Let's rotate just a touch more. Now let's we'll make it more of a curve because the housing's going to start. And they're going to take up some of this, right? Let's see. More houses here and then the other houses are there. Actually, it does carve in pretty steep. Pretty, pretty harshly there. Let's move you a little further around like so. And I don't want to remove trees at this point. That should give us just enough. I don't know if you can hit F1 for this or not. No, you can't. So there's no points to move and reset on this one. Just, just the housing. So you drop in. Actually, you can drop in right now. We can start building you just as soon as... Uh, as soon as they're done with the farm. We'll get people employed here. We need to get the last of our men available in the building which is just one right now he's sitting right there they love to sit down and take a rest good to give them benches here and there and we could actually set one in over in this area so that those that are building can that need a rest can just stop and take a rest and go back to building resting is an important thing with Ostrovians I just made that up so we're going to put a well in there, and the well doesn't have to happen just yet. It's a convenience, but it's not, you know, absolutely necessary. So let's not add that to our building tasks. We'll make that maybe after the, uh, I should have held shift, uh, after the uh, uh, the nine houses are in. Our requirement right there, get all nine families into housing. Let's grab another bench. We'll do the bigger bench out over here and they can walk through so let's not block that and i'm going to want carts in here somewhere too maybe carts will go right here there is a cart house that will eventually put in the park even more carts and get more carts built and added um that might work it might be where that will go in the future i was trying to plan ahead before i start dropping things down i don't think there's any moving of buildings in a game like this you know reality is they didn't move buildings they tore them down and rebuilt them so that's what you get to do here just watch them grab the clay shovel it up i like the realism of the game they do a good job kind of like uh, manor lords it's going to be coming out in april i think definitely want to do a season of that a series of that as well um what was i doing i was just talking and blathering on benches there we go right there we're gonna grab the big bench though we do have seating out here already but the farm 
Let's do there. Let's put a bench out in this area. So spin you around like so. That's the big bench, right? I think it is. Okay. Now the benches auto build, so they don't penalize you for that. Um, they're kind of want one out here somewhere. Let's just do something right there just to have one in. Little rest stops for them. It kind of increases the efficiency. And anything anywhere else at this point. There, a well. And I don't know what happens over here. Though I'll probably... Well, let's wait. I don't know what the, the building design is going to be right in that area. Um, we do have the well to do. I can pop it in right now. Let's kick the speed up. There we go. Um, I don't have to build the well right now, but I can place it. So right there. Yeah, we're moving. What are we doing? We are taking down that one tree. They drop it, chop it up, both grab an end, and off they go. That's how it's done. Well, so you're going to go into here, and the, let's see, this way, entrance is on that side. Parallel is something like that. And just like so. Hmm. Any advantage to moving one way or another? Probably not. So we'll just put that in there. You'll stay at the end. Don't need you just yet, though they do build really quick. All right, so do we have a farm yet? Where are we at? We have got all of the materials collected. They're all sitting right here. We got four workers assigned to it. We only have four workers. Okay. Um, we could pull two out of here. Chopping, chopping, waiting for a partner. And sawing logs for wood. I'll wait for you to take an arrest. Okay. You guys go to construction. We're, I think we are sitting 7,000 wood. We're, we're sitting good. Uh, we got some firewood done, so as the houses build, they'll stock firewood. And it's used for other things like charcoal. All right, so they've got plenty to be doing. Let's continue to set things up. Is there anything else besides housing that has to be done? Eventually, there'll be the smithy. That'll go in at the end. I think when I was counting nails, I think it was enough to do all that I wanted to do without actually having to have the building that makes new nails all right so you and you let's get the other houses closer let's as as efficient and and uh short of a run as possible for these first nine so you actually have your trees all no two trees left and okay so you're the first one there you are right there so they'll build you first all right so i want to come off of this and housing over here and some kind of a of a corner here so how are we going to pull that off build a house front door somewhere over there uh hit the f1 bring you over to there bring you over here nice and tight kick you in like so we'll have another farm is complete so let's slow actually let's stop that um we'll have another house over here sharing that fence line and be this shape accessed from this side over here somewhere so, kind of planning for that. So, what's the smallest that I can get this and still get a house in there? That kind of works. Now, what shape? Um, no matter what I do, I'm going to sacrifice a triangle somewhere of, of farming. Unless I just tuck it in like that. So, I can get gardens around the sides all the way through there. Yeah, that kind of works. Okay, you're going to go there. And, oops, I thought I said it. I didn't. Click and enter. That sets it, and you're going to move in here as well. The well can be later. Farming. Let's, I'm going to leave it paused for a moment. So we are in the middle of April. I think they can plant until the end of May. So we don't have a lot of time to get at least a little bit of crops in. Farm. We need a farm manager. And back, let's run it for just a moment there. We just hired hmm, Yaroslava. So she is our farm manager. With her, we can go ahead and add some fields. 
Um, let's see here. Let's set them up. Hmm. We're going to come off of here. And let's see. The entrance is in your first run. So I want to set that first one actually right here. There. And go this way. I think this will work. Got to get to here. So 15 units is our minimum. Let's go to 16. Up. Yeah, we hit our minimum. Okay. 16 by 17. And right there. So there's our first field area. Let's grab another one. Start you there. And you are going to be in the trees. Hmm. So you're not going to do me any good right now okay cancel whenever I hit the right click I move a little and my map moves and so it, it I'm trying to cancel that and it's just moving my map a tiny little bit so you're gonna come off of there let's grab another one from here to here and there's no trees involved so we can get all of these particular fields planted this year so that looks like it needs to be right there like so, that looks pretty good. Take you down. 16, 17. We don't need huge fields. Let's have some more smaller fields. It gives us a lot of more variety. We can get some of a lot of different crops in. You're a little crooked, that's fine. You, another field. Doors are in here. I'm going to have all the entrances come in from this side. Can I get one more in here without clipping trees? I don't know that I can. 17 too short so right click again oh, come on stop moving the mouse there we go and you're in a tree if i stop right there is there enough there is enough okay so that gives us three fields you can have five or six if they're small maybe even seven otherwise if you're doing bigger fields then you know it becomes more taxing later we're going to have cows and oxen which will have a, a plow attached to them, and they'll go through and plow everything, which clips off a lot of your of your March, your first month for planting as they're doing all of this. So, the more fields, or the you know too many fields, is a detriment in that sense. Um, I want another one there. I thought about maybe we'll add a big one over here at the entrance. Hopefully, I've made enough. I've made it wide enough. This space right here, right at the end for a big field there and that'll be a big five sort of thing but that gives us three to start with Is that good enough that's probably good enough all right so you are going to be and we'll do wheat we'll do wheat i'll get the windmill going probably during the winter so the way this works we have three different kinds of nutrients i don't know if these are named Let's see here. Now, so we have three different kinds of nutrients, and we've got percentages that each crop is going to use. So of 100%, wheat is going to cost us 50% of red and 40% of green, or 60%. So we have left 50 and 40 and 100. So you want to then add for your next year a crop that works with that. Um, so that's 50, we could do potatoes, for instance. So that's 50, 30, we're going to have left 50, 40. So potatoes do work in that run. So we could do that. And we could then leave it fallow. So we've used up 50 and 50, so we've used up all of our red. We've used up 60 and 30, so only 10 of our green left. So in 100% of our blue. There's 20 greens, so not enough. And we use all of our red. So none of these will work. We could leave that fallow. So this guy, and then we could turn it on. Activate. Okay. So this one, let's do something different. Let's do... Now, potato is something that can go directly into the market. So we want at least one of these doing potato. So we got potato there, and we're going to need something like buckwheat for feeding our chickens. 
So we got to think about that in that very first year. So we got some in stock. Potato is going to use 50 30. Buckwheat uses 20 60. So that leaves 50 50 40. So there's nothing else here that will work with that. So let's just go ahead and do that combination. Though, well, eventually you're going to want a field fallow every year and you rotate your cows into those fields. So you could start that cycle right at the beginning. It may be a while before we get chickens going. Mm, I do want all three of these though. All right, what else can go with the potatoes? Let's go that route. So potatoes, once again, are 50-30. So if we went with hemp or flax, we could go that route. And we also have sunflower for making sunflower oil, but it's not. It's it's going to take 100%, so it's got to be pretty much by itself. Let's go with a something like a hemp. And then we will go fallow. And for that matter, we can go fallow here and then hemp there. All right, that starts the pattern. So year two has a fallow, activate. Year one, year three has a fallow. But I do want buckwheat going. So we won't need a fallow this year anyway. Maybe this other field over here or that one there will, will be the year that we missed. Um, I do want buckwheat. And what else would go well with buckwheat? So buckwheat is... 0, 26, so sunflower, 100, there's 60 left, yeah, that works right there, sunflower, and then you can be fallow. You, there are ways, I believe, to get four, a set of four going, there's just enough left over for one of those crops if you get just the right, right uh, combination, but three cycles works well for me. So that works there, that gives the ladies something to do. Let's hire a couple of workers, and then we have the concept of laborers that are seasonal. So when it's planting time and when it is harvest time, we can hire or will automatically hire seasonal labor. We can choose who works here. No men. The women can have this industry, and we could choose the same thing for laborers, but... In that regard, I think we'll take anybody because this is just short-term work. So we'll take anybody, and if we had more than one farm, we could apply to all of them, this combination. And we can choose how they're going to move product around. I'm going to choose all of them at this point, by cart, by hand, by wagon, whatever you can do. Um, how much we want to maintain within hay and water for the oxen eventually. Um... Let's kick that up to 500 hay, and 300 ought to be fine for that. And again, apply it, apply it all if we want. All right, so let's get this going. And instantly, the ladies who have been sitting there waiting for something to do hired on, and they've now got a job. There'll be more work for them once the thatchery gets going. And that is farming in a nutshell. There's more to it. These three took me a while to figure this out. You click on this if you want to order a plow. When you get the carpentry up and going, then the carpenter will automatically start building the plow for you. Go and get a couple of oxen and some metal parts and get that built. Uh, click add a field to add more. We could reassociate this field, link to another farm, or a cow shed. So build another farm over here and say, now I want these workers to take care of that field and that links over there instead. So there's, there's variety. We can say, don't plow this field. It doesn't need it. We don't run out of nutrients that badly and stop wasting my time. So you could turn that off if you want to. All right, so the farming is going. We are into April. So we've only been going a month and a half. Man, I, my voice is already wearing out. <laughs> and... We've got jobs for the ladies, we've got jobs for the men. We should have no unemployment. Uh, population. Let's see here, as we... Can I see that here? Are you looking for a job? Nobody. Unemployment? Nobody. So we're, we're balanced just right right now. Speed you up a bit. Once we get the town hall built, we'll have a lot more options and, and uh, things we can see from there. Allow migration so people can move into empty houses. Construction is finished with the thatchery. Let's get one person working there. And one should be enough for her to keep up. Yeah, we'll do two. The way that Ostrov works, the economy, 
they will earn wages. They'll spend those wages in the town. So it's kind of a cycle. We've got to supply enough jobs for them to have enough money within their household to go and buy food and everything they need to tax them and take the money back. So it's it's an interesting balancing act for the economy. It's it's fairly realistic, unlike oh, something like Banished, where um, they don't have their own personal funds, so they just come and collect communal supplies. These folks need to provide their own supplies. If they run out of money and run out of the goods they need, they'll leave because you weren't providing enough enough uh, materials. All right, so you guys are working on those, working on those. Um, let's try to get another couple of houses ahead of us here. So we've got this guy here. Um, so kind of picturing the road, and speaking of roads, those who have not seen this game before, they will kind of carve their own roads as they wear the turf away. So that's how roads are created, though I do see they have added a concept of, i got to find it now, pavement. <clears throat> Okay, so maybe that speeds up travel for carts or something. That's pretty new. It was always very organic in the way the roads were created. So I've not played with that one. Quite a few of these things I've not played with before, so I'll be learning on my own. Actually, I'm recording, right? Good. <laughs> yeah, I hate looking over there halfway through and realizing, oops, something's wrong. So a lot of deja vu moments when that happens. All right, so we've got... I'm trying to picture it here we got a road that ends here 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 let's let's use this space for the houses that are in that area and let's just clip right into here okay house and you're gonna go there let's rotate that entrance around so R and T to be in this area somewhere F1 so how do we do this do we go here or do we kick it in just a touch? Let's do that. And let's kick this in to about like so. Okay. Let's give us some space over here. And we can get another house in this area. This will be a smaller place. Rotate you right up against that other fence there. You can see the yellow box over the yellow box so you can kind of align things that way if you do what I've done which is to purposely leave I oh, see there we go these guys clip so it stays yellow once you satisfy it then it you, you lose the ability to see the other ones so if you go there let's rotate you around further and put the back of the house right there yeah, touch you, control, right there. And we're going to lose, let's make a little more room. <clears throat> no, let's go back over there. And let's give a little more room over here for gardening. Like that. Okay, we'll do that. So you're in, uh, something's not right, house is touching. There we go. And enter. So first house is in. One of these tents will vanish. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So they're going to go back to their tent, tear it down. Somebody is. And come on, guys, don't leave me hanging. Maybe we're waiting for the lady to uh, come back from work. She may be planting the farm down here. Yeah, we're still... Uh, no, we're planted. So one of these tents are going to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Interesting. They're already setting up their gardens over here. Well, you just have to take my word for it. One of these tents are going to vanish here in a moment. <laughs> anyway, we're working on the next house. And we can do all the houses now. There's no more trees blocking the way. Okay. We could tell the loggers, the foresters, to wipe out a bunch of trees over here cut those trees down or we could say unmark or we could even say protect these trees and don't cut these down I want to leave that tree so you got a little bit of flexibility there 
All right, so yeah, they're taking their time pulling that tent down. Okay, that's fine. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four of our nine houses set up. Going here, there, there, there. There you are. So the next one comes in right here in front. House right in here. That's kind of the, the start of the game is just setting up your initial settlement. And as far as I'm concerned, having fun with it. Let's rotate you around. You can get quite creative with this game. Let's put you there, F1. Drop you... There you go. Into there so I force these guys to turn on. So I can see what's going on. Small entrance right there is fine. And... Any reason to change the shape? Not sure. Let's... We're going to be into all those trees anyway. To get our next run of houses so let's let these initial ones have lots of growing space so something like that okay house can just do something like so yeah that works fine bring you back to your you're happy and hit enter there's four five five houses are done so what happens after this I had planned on there being a lot more room here, and there isn't. I don't want to try and cut trees down. We'll never get there by November. So, where else to put four more houses? House here rotates you around something like so. We could move into here. We could run one more house in front of both of these. And that'll give the loggers something to work on right now. Okay, let's do that. So, let's just hit F1. Move this all around manually. Snap you into there. Yeah, close enough. We'll fix that with this one. Somewhere in there. Uh, place is occupied. Oh, because I've done that. Okay. Um, in fact, let's intentionally do that. <clears throat> You're going to go to there. Now, how do we shape this road? Probably something like that. You rotate how. He can be a little different. If he's the beginning, then he can be facing the town, the town center a little bit. Okay. Um, you are. You can go a little further. You drop in to there, and it stayed lit because it's telling us we have trees to uh, to take down. That's fine. That'll give the the loggers something to do. All right, so we need six trees taken down. Let's just not make a habit of it, but they can be working on those while we're doing all the other buildings. Enter, and you're set. And you'll be the last one. You go into there. All right, so that's six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Three more. So another one in this area. Right there. Uh, rotate you around like so. Now let's do this so we can build town buildings against the sides of these fences so we'll make sure everything enters in that area f1 you're going to be right there we'll drop you in to lock you in you can come down let's keep that road fairly even and we're getting a little tight but you're allowed to intersect the uh, the access ways anything wrong with that i don't think so what do you do now <clears throat> you come up to there I think you do. You'll be a little bit smaller, and you also will rotate and kind of face the town. Well, maybe kind of symmetrical like so. And let's touch one corner right there, but leave all the other ones accessible to walk around and behind. So right there or up here. If I do that, I got to do this first. Okay. Now I can see where we're touching. Yeah, we'll do it right there. So you're going to come in. Looks like there's good space around all the other sides. And drop in and enter. That's number seven. So we have had six trees. Now we're down to five. They're going to work on these guys while we are building these other houses. We're only halfway through. Oh, this is June, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Now the crunch is on. How are we doing here? The ladies went ahead and planted. 
And <clears throat> we don't need these ladies in here to be paying their wages. We could save some money, but we also want to be supplying their household with enough income to spend later to buy things. So that's kind of a balancing thing. As the role of the city, you want to save as much money as you can. <clears throat> as the role of the, oh, shall we say the mayor or the governor, trying to make sure that everybody has what they need, then you want to provide as many jobs as you can and cost the city. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's balancing. Do I want to hire them or do I want to fire them? <laughs> um, let's fire you and let's hire... Oh, I already did hire two there. Okay. So let's hire a third for a while till we get fully stocked up on thatch. Okay. And we could eventually have a market stall and, and hire a lady in there to stock the potatoes that we're going to uh, be selling. And eventually we'll get a granary going and buy some of these crops that they're planting. Now we were too late for these folks to plant. We were already into June. So that's the only house that we managed to get the food variety into so that's going to be a little bit tough next year to have less food variety but we're going to gain it by everyone's just going to eat potatoes yep which are the potatoes that's wheat so is there any sense of an efficiency now well, you can kind of see the efficiency so it's not plowed and it was rushed so we're not going to get a whole lot of growth in here's the potatoes so we'll be lucky well we have till we're through July and into August, so maybe we'll get to here on growth. That'll give us quite a bit. The ladies have to walk all the way down here to get it. But that means the constructors, the, the builders, don't have to walk all the way down there to get it. They can just get it right here. So that's good. They bring it in, they set it out, they dry it, and then they store it. And eventually we will have a warehouse to store it in. All right, getting another house built. Getting right near the end. We're at that point, and done okay and different house styles so this right here we've got a i think it's called a hip roof and this style that's a hip what is this part a hip gable there was a combination there a something hip if i remember it's been a while since i've studied that this is a gabled end here so different different styles different materials got the clay part the wood part some have porches some don't Cool. All right, so you guys are doing that. I need to get four or two more houses in somewhere. So initially, let's see this again. There's our cul-de-sac right there. Then we're going to hit in here eventually with a, a lane. Maybe we'll just put a, a lane alongside this. Ah, we'll see. We will see. This isn't quite the way I had envisioned it, but... Seeing it in your mind and seeing it on the uh, on the screen here are probably two different things. So we've still got three trees to take down over there. So I don't want to tax them too hard. Hmm. Wherever I put these houses, I'm kind of committed. So I want to not uh, hurt myself later. I don't want to try to take all these trees out. We're not going to make our nine families if I do um, so road traveling through there let's get this one in that one's pretty simple so he's gonna face this direction facing that road like so uh, F1 and let's he's actually in pretty good shape right there now we're gonna need to access this side from here so do we do another cul-de-sac here? Or do we... Hmm, I don't know. You are doing what? Ah, you're over there. Okay. So you're there. Let's set you in just a touch so I can see everything. I curve the road around, give myself some more room over here. Or do I make this tight? Less food variety for that house. But it gets our road into this area with a little less walking around. I could do something like that. That's different. 
start curving us in. Oh, there's an idea. I like this little jog right here for a well. Let's kick a jog in here for a well. And that will give him some more room. Alright, so you're there now. You're there. Where am I still touching? The house? Probably the house. So, you... Like so. What do you do? You're probably right up against there. That way I can plant easily on all sides. Alright, so there's number eight. And road's going to start curving in, getting into this area to supply whatever's happening in here. I'm kind of picturing this being more of an industry area. The brickworks and the... Uh, Oh, maybe even like the slaughterhouse and the smokehouse up in here. Now there are certain things that do not that that will give a negative impact to housing. I think it is the charcoal. Uh, do I get any kind of a pop up? I think it's right here. There's a question mark by everything, so you get information that way. Charcoal pile is a place for burning firewood. Um, if multiple piles are placed nearby, they will be filled in a queue. Keep in mind that charcoal piles rely on labor, and this building produces smoke, which has detrimental effects. Ah, so smoke is the thing. So anything that produces smoke. So the brickworks does. Am I okay here? I am. In fact, I can put another building in with trees on the lot if I want to. We're, we're caught up. Um, like, let me see that real quick. You guys are running on two and you're doing fine. We have everybody employed that we can there. Good. So I'm not losing any efficiency. Uh, brickworks, I wanted to see that. You're in this side, right? Glassworks, pottery, brickworks. Nope, didn't want to do that. I want to see it. Question mark. Okay, near water. It doesn't say that the smoke it produces is a problem. There are several buildings that have a a furnace in a sense. The smithy will as well. Hmm. So I don't know if those are limitations or not. We need one more house in. Otherwise, we're doing a pretty good job here. Yep. The wooden section. We're going to put clay into the uh, into the framework over here. Ah, we're starting to drop the the clay foundation in. Okay. Timbers going up. Our beams. <clears throat> All the spacers in the wall to pack the clay between. If I remember right. There it goes. Interesting. One more house. Where does that happen? Do we do something like that? Road goes through there. Road comes through here. What happens back here? We could sneak one more house in. In fact, that works out pretty good right there. No trees in the way. Let's hit F1 and go investigate that. So, put you into here so I can see everything. Hmm. Let's do something a little bit different there. If I rotate you, I can bring this bring this corner to there. Maybe. But it might be nice to build industry against a fence. So I'm not sure how that's going to work. Let's delete you. Let's see, just right click. Yeah. Another house. Let's rotate you this time. So that was another village house. If I rotate you like so in F1, I can bring this dot to here and this dot to there, but I can't... Oh, I can. I can pull off something like that, make that the final house. Okay. That kind of works. Now he's a lot further away from the materials. So hopefully that isn't what dooms us. Hate to get to that last house and miss it by a week. You know, because they had to travel us a little bit further. This is going to be a good-sized house. Hmm. 
A lot of food's gonna come out of this one. I could sneak two houses into that space is what's going through my mind right now. Let's, I mean, I could do something like this and this and get an odd shaped one in here somehow. I kind of like that idea too. Um, rotate you around. You can then go a little further over and in like so. Like so. Rotate you around like that. Could have you face in the forest. Hmm. Back to the forest. Yeah, I like that better. The other house is going to barely fit in here. One, two, three, four. In order to make that house work, I'm going to have to give you some more room this way. So that he can be... Like that. And still be able to get into all three sides. Huh. You need to go even a little further out yet. To pull that one off. So you're going to be a long lot. So if I turn you... I don't know if I put you up against it, then there's still lots of room around. Okay, you're going to go right there. And what am I missing? Right there. Okay, you're good. And that is nine. Well goes last. And that is all of our building. We are into August. September, October, November. I think we can do it. We've done five of the nine plus a thatchery and the forestry and the farms. So I think we're going to be okay. Build market stalls to sell furniture, uh, furniture, sell food to citizens. And we have potatoes now. That's why they're saying that. Okay. So you guys, everybody is still employed, except for some of the ladies. A market stall. <clears throat> that means I've got to know where my markets are going to be. So the houses end there. I think this would be a good area for a big market area. So food storage over here, another house completed. These tents are all starting to kind of vanish. So we're down to three houses left. Oh, interesting. It tells you this tent belongs to that house. Okay. So they're going to, ah, that's the delay. They got to move all their stuff out. So this is what this family came with. A bunch of beans, a bunch of honey, some dried fish, some cabbage. Yeah, they get a good food variety to start with. So they're eventually going to come home on one of their breaks. And, and this house is employed by the farm. Employed by here, it looks like. No, maybe not. What am I seeing there? Why? Oh, the kid was visiting the family over there. That's what it was. You can see where everybody's at who belongs to the house. Seven-year-old, one-year-old, a 33, and a 25. Okay, so a market stall. I think I'm going to take this area here for market stalls. And this area here for granaries and other kinds of storage. Another lane through here. So I guess I won't have houses back-to-back -back in this area. Okay, and we can tear down the thatchery and move it somewhere else if we want to kind of want to. I want housing right in here. Okay, so with that, let's put in a market stall just to get that done. Whether it stays here permanently, I don't know. These auto build, so it's easy to see, easy to get them operating. R&T. Now, how to do it? We're going to have a lot of angles coming off of here. We could angle with the road. We could do that and right up against the fence will keep it from clipping around. Though, let's put it in a little bit because people might be standing in front of it without being in the road. So you're going to go there, hold the shift right there. These don't cost you anything. So we can go ahead and set several of them up even though we're not going to employ them all just yet. We can put a couple more right in here. Control. That looks pretty good. Put two of those right next to each other. 
So shift U and U. Okay. You, let's hire. And we already have Snizana working there. And this is something new to me. It allows you to automatically stock it with what's available. So we got buckwheat and potato. Actually, I wasn't going to sell the buckwheat. So let's cancel that one. Just going to sell potato. Buckwheat I want to hang on to. That's going to be our early chicken food. So let's see here. We've got somebody employed there. So we had hired folks temporarily to bring in the harvest. Didn't get to see that. That already happened and the fields are so small that that went by pretty quick. Um, we need to put in a smithy. We haven't done that yet. Need to put in another well. Uh, smithy should be first though, probably before the well, just to make sure there's definitely enough nails. Smithy goes where? We're kind of doing industry in here. We don't need to continue that. We could be another set of industry out over here. We want the smithy and east charcoal. We want the charcoal away from housing. So let's think about here and let's have them take some trees down to do that. So smithy is near the beginning. Where are you? Right there. And that was yet another house. Good. So two houses left and we're, we're there. Including a farm. Pulled it off, I think. We'll see. I might be counting my chickens before they hatch. So you could even be at an interesting angle with charcoal behind. That's an idea. Yeah, we'll do something like that. Just four trees. So set you in and put you first. And then we'll charcoal behind right there. Um, back in this little area. Spin you around so I can see which way you go. Yeah, off like that. And we can get that one to just drop in without dropping trees. That way we can get working on that one real quick. And that one I think auto builds. I don't think there's any construction. They just start loading up, which gives our other ladies who aren't employed something to do. There's It's a laborer's task to bring doesn't say 8,000 to 9,000 no no there it is 10,000 units of firewood going to be brought over here then they're going to build a clay dome around it seal it up and make charcoal out of it if you've ever watched primitive technologies that, that uh, YouTube channel make charcoal it is fascinating he makes it about every Every second or third episode, he makes another uh, round of charcoal to do what he's what he's creating there, and does it all old school like this. So that's going to give some ladies a lot of work to do, and that employs their household. We've got wealth of forty-two. We've got a monthly income of six twenty-five, and at this point, land taxes are only twenty-three cents. When we get the town hall bill, we can start charging real land taxes and rents and that sort of thing and they'll pay uh taxes to the to the economy that way so we're building up their income so we can take it all back all right so two houses are left we are at the end of september we got two months left we're gonna make it so smithy is next of course i'll say that and then find out that i didn't calculate the nails right and we still lose because the smithy didn't happen that's why i'm getting it in before the well there will be another well going in here so let's do that one well right there and what do you look like alignment alignment wise something like that okay two wells will be afterward right now they're using the town well and it's still keeping up so it will refill at a certain rate just like real wells do so as they're all taking it and using it, it's slowly trying to recover. You can choose whether it's used for citizens or production. And later we'll have a well just for the farm and a well just for industry and what have you. And that way the industry doesn't wipe out all the water and leave nothing for the houses. So you went down, grabbed 100 potatoes from the farm, which is storing 150 plus 250 wheat and 250 buckwheat 
Eventually, we will put in the... Is there any reason why I can't set that one now? Probably not. And just like the thatchery, you don't have to put it next to the farm. You know, it's not a requirement. You can get a little creative with that. Maybe you want to set it near storage. So food sales are going to be here. Maybe we will put something like that over here. So storage-wise, I've got a little time left waiting for these two to build. And we'll, we'll wait till first snow, then we'll call this episode done. Um, let's think about setting things like uh, here. We could go straight for the granary, the big one. Or we can put in a couple of smaller ones. I'm thinking a couple of small ones to handle foods that come in from the homes bought from the residents or the citizens and the big one for the foods that we make and grow. I think that's a way to do that. Um, here's what he looks like. We could put maybe one, two, and then behind them a let's see he accesses from that from the middle not an end but I could do something like that put him there and then the two smaller ones in front with a lane in between them yeah so if he went there rotate you around like that that's why I didn't want the house over here to access from the side, I want to be able to build up against this for with town buildings. So if you went there, and again, you would be much further into the year as far as when to build you. But I can see the footprint now. We can go through and even pause them, I believe. So you on pause. Yeah. And then we can go in with a couple of these guys just to get the footprints in place. So supply all three entrances from the same place. Or... Something like this. That looks pretty good. Pathway there. There'll be carts coming in and out of that big one. So in case they want to walk around and through that to get behind for any reason, let's bring it forward a little bit. All right, so in that case, hold the shift, put you there, and you kind of symmetrical over here. Wish I had a way of forcing these blueprints to stay lit. So that distance is about like so. Of course, I'm seeing the roof line. I'm not seeing the uh, the other. We'll put you in there, and that yeah, looks pretty good. Okay, so we got those coming in later. We'll get one of you built immediately, and the other two we will pause because there are other things that we definitely want to get done. But we're getting close to finishing our final house yeah now we could I guess pop another house in over here just to get it set you're gonna be let's see rotate you around the entrance is gonna be out here somewhere actually rotate again right there F1 because you are gonna go there and you are gonna go there so you're there did I leave enough room to pull this off that's the question so spin you around. The thought was to put you against the back of this. Not enough room to walk from that entrance to that entrance if we do that. Okay, can I do the, it here? No, don't like that either. Okay, can I do you here? I can. Alright, so you're going to live there. And the blue line is reminding me what it takes to walk into there. So if I do that, can I walk around still? To get to the growing area behind. Let's see. Let me get above it so I can see those rectangles. So you are there. Let's rotate you just a touch that way. Not too far. Right about there. Like that. And that does give enough room. Okay. So you're going to be there and you're just going to be a tight little space for growing. But we did manage to get two more houses in. And we'll call that done for housing in this area. All right. So you get the wells in first, get one of those in, then we'll put the next house in. All right, so we're about finished here. Let's watch the rest of this go in. What are we doing right now? 
All the materials are collected. We are constructing, 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 taking a rest, but there you go, you're off to construct. All right, taking a rest, but you're about done too. So we have enough people in here to finish off this house. Throwing in the rafters. Got our hip roof ends. Chimney goes through. Where all the clay is going, our fireplace inside. Such an attention to detail here. And what do we have for windows? We actually have little little windows in there with shutters. Okay. And they're in. And even have smoke coming out of the chimney. Okay. So build more village houses to attract new citizens. I could almost pull off one more. I wonder. Well, no, no. Let's get the smithy going. So the smithy, did we make it or not? That's kind of the, the question here. I need... 112 nails. Did I have enough? We still have 426, so yes, we can put more than just the nine houses in and the very basics. Good. So we'll let this run a little bit longer. Carts are just about worn out, so actually the carpentry is probably the next piece that needs to go in. He may be near this guy. So front door to the smithies over here. Carpentry looks like... Where are you... There you are. All right, so front door is on this side. We could rotate you so that your fronts are near each other. What would look best? I wish I could see the, blue, the outline of the other building. Kicked around. Kind of following the woods or not? Or do we think about what's happening over here and align it to what we'll be going in over here next. Hmm, that looks kind of funky. Okay. Let's give the loggers something to do. There's no logging requirements at the moment. So let's set you in there. A little bit of room around you since we made it pretty tight over here. And where far can I go without clipping another tree? We can go all the way into there. Let's do that. Okay. You're going to go in, and you're going to go in before... Before the wells, we're doing fine water-wise. So let's get you in so we can get the carts repaired and get more carts going. But we are nearing the end of our season. November is about to end. Snow is about to hit. And I think we made it. You have built the smithy. I want to get you employed. I want to think about things like that. So we're going to fire you, get you in there. You'll start making... Well, you'll collect the iron, then you'll start making nails, metal parts, and horseshoes. We could, yeah, we've, horseshoes are automatically turned off until you get to that point. Just like bark is automatically turned off. Does it say what bark is for? Oh, I don't see the word bark in there anywhere. Do you? I don't. We'll have to read about that. Or if you already know that answer, let me know. What building does bark supply? I would think it's a burning fuel. I don't think it's used for compost. What else do you naturally do with bark? And we've got some lines, some artifacts showing up. I think they go away when you shut down restart. Um, what was that last notice? Right here gives you messages that you missed. The well's done. Okay, so we got one well going, then we're getting the carpentry going, which was over here, which still has one tree left to do so will they move over to the other well they will so they'll skip it they'll go on to the next project that needs to be done and start working on that while they're waiting for that one tree to come down and here's the snow we just hit december we sent nobody home good job so i think with that we're going to call this episode done leave comments let me know what you think i love this game and i'm gonna do this one for a while later i want to get into let's see well manor lords when it comes out so it's a similar kind of game and farthest frontier I've, i enjoy that game as well and it's another similar kind of game I, a colony management game so those are all possibilities for this this uh, this year coming up 
kind of at the end of 23, beginning 24, and thinking about what's coming. But for now, I'll call this one done. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.